It's really important right now to support our local brewers and the people that employ our locals. This pandemic has already put many local bars and restaurants on the brink of closing, and now an expiring tax break could put some small breweries out of business for good. News 5's Emily Hamilton spoke to local brewers and customers about the challenges those businesses are facing. Few businesses have come out unscathed in the economic turbulence of 2020. This has definitely gone on, I think, a lot longer than anyone envisioned uh, when this first uh, happened back in March. Uh, so, you know, it, it is very worrisome as it continues uh, to drag on. But for thousands of breweries, enduring closures, limited capacity, and curfews. We don't want to see any of our local breweries close. We want to support them, you know, much more so than, you know, your, your big box. The financial troubles may be exacerbated with the end of this calendar year. We now pay three fifty per barrel, $3.50. Now, you know, when we hit January 1st, it is set to double again. The Craft Beverage Modernization and Tax Reform Act, which lowers taxes on beer, is set to expire on December 31st. Think about someone doubling your own personal taxes. It's a hit. Uh, that's a big hit. Leaving owners wondering what's to come when taxes on beer and various distribution products double on January 1st. In addition to that, you know, we're facing a, an aluminum shortage. So, you know, the price uh, on, on our aluminum cans has gone up. Avid beer drinkers say extending the current tax rate is the only hope for small breweries to keep their doors open. They're barely getting by. They're struggling to pay their employees. So the fact that they might have to pay double taxes is awful. Senators Rob Portman and Sherrod Brown were among more than 50 lawmakers who signed a bipartisan letter to Mitch McConnell and Chuck Schumer, urging them to include the current tax rate in upcoming legislation. Senator Brown tells News 5 the brewery industry can't weather a sudden tax hike on top of the devastating effects of COVID-19, and Skeins agrees. We're feeling it. We're feeling the pinch, and it's just we're getting whacked from, from different <laughs> different places. Reporting in Cleveland, Emily Hamilton, News 5.